After months of alleged awful conditions for teens housed at the Wayne County Juvenile Detention Facility, tonight the state of Michigan is stepping in after claims that a 12-year-old was sexually assaulted while in custody. Mar McDonald is live in Hamtramck tonight. And Mar, this is the latest in a very long list of problems at that facility. Kimberly, that's right. I mean, it has been months of issues at the juvenile detention facility, whether it's here at the Dickerson facility or in its prior location. And who is responsible and the cause of all this? Well, it depends on who you talk to. Let me show you. Just last month, a whistleblower at the juvenile detention facility wrote a letter to the Wayne County Circuit Court detailing multiple ongoing problems as a result of overcrowding and staff shortages. For example, two to three offenders being housed in one cell, leading to what the whistleblower calls tensions and inappropriate sexual activity. Now the county confirms the investigation is underway into the sexual assault of a 12-year-old boy in custody. Per Wayne County, we contacted the Michigan State Police who are actively investigating these allegations. We are working alongside them to support their investigation and to better understand all the facts. Seven staffers at the JDF have now been suspended but there's more. That same whistleblower detailed how those in custody are destroying cells, making overcrowding worse, and that violent offenders are allowed to roam around putting staff at risk. The county, up to its ears in problems here, places the blame on the state. The JDF is overcrowded because there are too few treatment beds for juvenile offenders statewide, so you have kids sitting at the JDF waiting for placement. Tonight, in a statement, the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services says in part, quote, while MDHHS does not own, operate, or contract with this facility, the department will continue to use its licensing authority to review the actions of the Wayne County Juvenile Detention Facility. Back here live, MDHHS also confirming it has had staff on site here at the JDF since yesterday. We're live in Hamtramck tonight. I'm Mara McDonald, Local 4. All right, Mara, thank you.